Table one. One back, one person, bring it back. Just sit it down in a pretty spot. That's it. Table five. challenge is someone to figure out what's in your bag. So we don't talk about our bags because someone might hear us. Table two. And don't worry if you're the last table because there's more bags of people so no one gets stuck with the bag. Everyone will have a choice of bags because I'm nice like that. All right? Table six. Get back on the table. Oh, just kill that baby chick. <laughs> Don't shake it. That's uh, okay. It'll all work out. Happy in there. Happy in there. It'll work out. Table three. Shh. Table three. Put your bag on the table. Leave it alone. Leave your bag on the table, leave it alone. Yeah. We're doing that repeating thing. I don't want to do it too much. All right, so now get all your materials and your benches and everything, and let's put them on here. So now we're standing, and what should we put in front of us? A bag, a paper, and something to write with. I saw three people just do it. 
Then you stand your bag on your table so it's never visible or lay it so that your number is visible. So some of the bags don't want to stand up. Alright. Now your number is visible, not to you. It's the wrong way. Thank you. Now, in drawing area number one, to the best of your ability, draw something that might resemble the shape of the object in your bag or what the object is. Or, I know they're not, you don't have a lot of information, but you can try to make something. All right? Then, if by any chance the thing you're drawing is really about the size of the thing in your bag, you know, life size, oh. take one of the says life size. Because if I draw a circle this big, maybe it's a marble, maybe it's a baseball, that don't tell me how big it is. The life size little check mark will tell me something. That's oh, you referred to me. Okay. Bring it here over here. So you all draw your stuff. Do not talk about your object. Do not pick up your bag again. All you're doing, all you're allowed to do is draw. See, when everybody's drawing, they're bent over. Then when everybody's standing up, I know everybody's through drawing, and I know where to go to the next part. So just keep drawing. Remember, y'all told me y'all would do good today. Table. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Camille's going to come back there with the red stick. Please tell her how to get it ready. And we'll tell you what to do. I'm just going to watch this activity. We're already started. Otherwise, I'll let you jump right in. Okay. Now, what I need you to do is pick up your little piece of paper, pick up your writing tool, and you're going to carefully Walk around. You're not going to touch anything, but you're going to look at everybody else's drawing. And if you see a drawing that might be the same as possibly what's in your bag, a possible partner, write their bag number down in round one in that section on your paper. So you're looking for possible matches. <laughs>
Some people got 10. Some people got 1. Some people got 0.
Never squeeze. Get an idea better about how does it move around on that bottom. Does it slide? Does it roll? One hand only. One hand only. There you go. You can go ahead and hold it on the side a little bit. Sometimes you can tell how it hits the side of your fingers. Remember, your fingers are very sensitive. I thought. Is that working? Okay. Be easy now. One more class. Let's make sure you get back. Don't talk about it. Don't tell anybody what it's doing. All right. Don't change the drawings. No. You make it better in area number two. That's what it's for. All right. So let's put our bags down. I'm not finished. Let's put our bags down. Then drawing number two. It may look like drawing number one or maybe totally different or whatever, but now you got some new information. So based on the information that you have in total, you got your first experience and your second experience. Take me a new drawing. Like I said, it may look a lot like it. Remember, now that you have a better idea about the size of it, maybe it can be more life size or close to life size. You check that little box. If it's not life size at all, put it in the, in the right place. You want another paper, sir? No. Okay. Who's beautiful mechanical erasure? I do not have one like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit on my furniture. Anybody else is trying their hardest to stand up? Appreciate everybody doing that. Now make sure your bag number is visible. Have it near your piece of paper so there's no doubt about which one's yours. Alright. Don't cover up your drawing. Thank you. Alright. So now, I think we can slowly walk around, and now make a new list in round two. They might end up being the same numbers, I don't know. Let's just walk around, look at everybody's drawing. If their drawing looks like, don't touch anything. Are you touching a bag? That's something. All you're doing is looking at drawings. Oh. Yes, we're only looking at drawings. Horrible. Okay? List all the ones that might be the same as yours. Okay. Might be. Candy. We're only talking about our little polite things. Don't talk about the objects. Don't talk about the art skills. Don't talk about what you think yours is. Don't talk about me on the video. Is that why you got to my class? This whole video? Hmm? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Sub-sandwich? Sub-sandwich? 
How many partners do you have right now? Seven. Seven? How many did you have before? Three. Three, so it got worse for you. That didn't happen. Zachary. Where's Zach be at? Right here. How are you doing, sir? Good. Yeah, wait for the questions. Don't answer for Stay in Jeopardy. All right. Um, how many you got now? Six. Six, and you had? Four. Four, so yours group. Are the four you had before part of the six? No, but that's, things change. Things change. Cameron, how are you doing, sir? Good. Good. You looking forward to going home in about an hour? Yeah. Okay. How many you got now? What? Ten. Ten. Ooh, hopefully the next round will help him out. All right, so that was a sad story, so we need to end there on a, on a sad note. Anybody got zero? Anybody has one possible partner right now? That's good. Everybody's got at least one. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to damage the bag. To the best of our ability, we're not going to damage the bag. Now you can kind of... Squeeze it a little bit, all right? It's all about what does it feel like without tearing up the bag, all right? Now we're really getting into our second touch. So don't talk about it, don't talk about it. All right? Did you get the little feeling? See what kind of talking you can make. If you know what it is, Greg, don't say anything. But remember, you gotta make a good drawing to help your partner find you and you find your partner. Fix the bottom after you've squeezed it, so to make it stand back up again if possible. Stand your bag up, make your beautiful drawing number three. And please again, if you make it close to really the size it is, be sure to check that little box that says life size so people know. So drawing number three. Again, if you know some shading skills or 3D skills or whatever, see if you can do that. That's a lot of information, but unfortunately you got letters on there. The letters don't count. But you leave everything else on there. Shh. We're going to do a drawing and we're going to let everybody walk here for that. This time, study their drawings real good if, if they change. Some of them haven't changed too much, it looks like. Remember, check the life size box, it was really about that size. Good. Make sure your bag number is showing, whether they're standing or laying down. Make sure your bag number is showing for the people. Okay? Because they're not going to touch your bag, so it's okay if it's laying down as long as they see the number. Um, I guess you got all my drawings? Yeah. All right, so watch out for anybody bent over because they're still drawing. But then go ahead and uh, take a tour, see if you can find that magic partner. Don't ask them about the drawings, don't ask them about the objects, and please quit touching other people's bags. Okay. Okay. 
Leave your drawings down so people can look at them. Table six. I need you to take this serious, please. I'm trying to get y'all to develop good habits. Why is that? Because I don't always give the grade based on the paper. If we're doing activity, it's really about the performance, isn't it? Yes, sir. And so once I know your names, or I see little things, something I like to do is I go around and I put little marks on papers, and I know what those marks mean. I know which ones will be good and which ones will be bad. And so we're going to get you on the habit of being good so that you don't end up getting lower grades than you want to on stuff. All right? But remember, I'm not like all your other teachers. It's very difficult. That's a good thing. No, so you're not much different from the. Just leave yours like the word you're Arguing with me. No matter what I say, let it be right. Then when you go home and tell your parents I'm wrong. Don't tell me I'm wrong. There's no good for me. Okay. Why don't everybody go ahead and get comfortable?